Chinese for the kitchen. In today's kitchen, I'm going to share with you my recipe of my lunch today. I just ate my lunch. I haven't did dishes yet, but I cannot wait to share with you my recipe. Today, I have very nice, very delicious and very nutritious lunch. I have a combo of pork tenderloin, uh, bok choy, rice, corn, eggs. That's why I said it's a very nutritious and also it's a very tasty too. Okay, let's take a look what I eat and how I cooked. I wish you like it. Okay, let's start. The ingredient, sauces, and the spices I used for this plate are cream corn, bok choy, pork tenderloin, garlic, egg, no chicken cube, or no chicken sashimi, light soya sauce, dark soya sauce, or oyster sauce, ground Sichuan pepper, ground white pepper, green onions, ginger, and potato starch, cooking one, peanut oil, salt, and sugar. This amount is good for two people and the rice. First step, that's cooking rice. Uh, after we clean two cups of rice and put in the cooking pot and the put water is about three fourth inches higher above the rice. That's the water I used. Or you can use about two and a half cup of water for two cups of rice. Then put the container back into the electric pot, plug in electricity and select regular rice and then start. Next step, we separate and clean bok choy. As I show you, if you don't separate, there are some earth inside the bok choy. So that's why we must separate each bok choy and clean them. Next step, we slice pork tenderloin, cut them into small sticks. The next step, we marinate the pork tenderloin. It's half tablespoon light soy sauce and uh, one fourth tablespoon dark soy sauce, one fourth teaspoon sugar, one fourth teaspoon salt, one fourth teaspoon Sichuan pepper, one teaspoon potato starch, one teaspoon cooking wine, and stir a little bit. And it looks like there's not enough potato starch. Another teaspoon potato starch. And stir, make everything mix well. Blanch the bok choy in the boiling water for about one minute. Yeah, after it's boiling, then it's one minute. Take them out, put them in the clean, cold water. Use another small pot and dump the corn cream into the pot and add in one and a quarter cups of water into the pot. Boiling it about one or two minutes. Then beat the egg in the small bowl. Then 
then add the small drops of eggs slowly. One drop, two drops. You can put one nor chicken cube or sachet. It's optional here. After it is boiling, do a little stir, then add in the white pepper. It's one fourth teaspoon of white pepper. Then add in this is a liquid starch. It is one teaspoon potato starch and two tablespoon water mix. Then stir a little bit. Stir a little bit. Now the soup is ready. Put into small bowl and set aside. Let it cool down before to drink the soup. And put some the green part of onion leaves. Heat half tablespoon peanut oil in a skewer over high heat. When the oil is warmer, then add in the pork tenderloin. Then stir fry. Stir fry. Stir fry about two minutes until all the pork tenderloin change color to a little white. Because it is a high heat, so stir fry two minutes. So that means all the pork meat is well done, well cooked. Okay, then put in the green onions and the ginger. Stir fry a little bit, until. Green onion is yellow. Okay, now this one is done. We put it into a plate, transfer it to a plate. Now use the same skewer. Add in about one teaspoon of peanut oil, uh, just a little bit of oil. Then add in the garlic, the chopped garlic, and stir fry a little bit. Then add in. The bok choy. Stir fry, stir fry. Then add in one fourth teaspoon of salt. Then stir fry. Change a new plate. This plate is prepared for the bok choy. And then put in the liquid potato starch. The liquid potato starch has one teaspoon potato starch and two 
tablespoon spoon of water. If you like oiled sauce, you can put one teaspoon of oiled sauce before you take them out. Now, everything is done. Transfer the bok choy to the new plate. Smells good. Okay, now the rice already done. Okay, use the chopstick to stir. Make sure it's getting loose. It's not all stay together. Okay, put them in a small bowl. It smells really nice. That's my lunch today. Rice. Pork meat, bok choy, and corn soup. It is so nice, so delicious food. That's why I cannot wait to share with you. And if you have some comments, and if you want to know my new recipe coming, you may click subscribe button below. Thank you, thank you so much, and have a nice day. Enjoy my recipe.